All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into it. So somebody has feelings that they're not really, have not been showing. Let's put it that way. They have feelings that they have not been showing or someone's not really expressing how they feel at this time. Um, somebody's like kind of laying low, not expressing a whole lot, but they're strategizing, okay? Keeping their feelings to themselves right now, but being strategic or they're strategizing. Um, we have happiness. What about happiness? Trapped. Interesting. Someone's maybe trying to figure out how they can have a happy ending with you or get to a happier place. Somebody feels like they're stuck or in an unpleasant situation that they don't know how to get themselves out of or something like that. We have to see unlocking. I already saw this. Yeah. Removing blockages, locked doors are opening. Love is coming. Something is brewing. So some type of repeating cycle is getting to that point. It's not about to re reach a climax or it's about to get to that point where it's like, what do you, what do you, how do I explain that? Like the, the cycle is no longer going to repeat itself. Like something is about to change. A repeating cycle is going to come to an end is what I'm getting here. Possibly because someone doesn't want to get left behind by you. I see a love offer coming in. All right. What is, um, what is someone strategizing? What's this strategy energy? Oh, what? Someone's trying to figure out, you know what's probably going on here? Somebody is not in the best situation right now. And they're trying to figure out how they can keep. Wow, guys. Somebody feels like they feel very grateful to have encountered you or to have met you. They view you as a blessing. Um, you make them happy. They found like they have found the person that they could have a happy ending with. But this person is stuck in some type of situation. It could be a marriage because I told you I just saw divorce or some type of complicated situation or relationship that they're maybe trying to get out of. But they're still, they're in some type of unpleasant situation that they don't want to be in. They view you as their happiness. They're trying to figure out how they can keep you from moving on from them while they get this other situation sorted out. That's very clear. Selfish intentions, being strung along, giving false hope. <sighs> I feel like this person really does want a happy ending with you. But they're, whatever the situation that they're trapped in right now is maybe they feel like they can't give that to you right now. Or they can't have that with you right now. Um, this is somebody, like I said, that isn't, hasn't been expressing how they feel to you. You may not even know that this person still feels some type of way about you. Um, how is this person? Since they're not abundant, how are they feeling? Wow, they feel like you guys could like... They feel like a very intense soul connection to you. They can, they view you as maybe very independent, like you make good money, that you have your shit together. They view, you know what they view you as? They view you guys as like almost exact opposites. Like you're everything that they wish that they were, if that makes sense. Like a yin and yang. It's like you guys are complete opposites or something like that. It's not in like a... um. A, a, a malicious or a jealous i mean i don't see jealous energy here yet but they view you as somebody that's very abundant and independent um and they 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 view themselves as the exact opposite of that yeah that's what this is how else are they feeling about the collective how else are they feeling yeah they feel super like they cannot get over you they feel like you're worth the trouble Wow, main lady, you're all that they focus. Like they've chosen you. They're, you're the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with. I don't see this person with anybody else. They're focused on you. Or if they do have other people that they that they deal with or that they have around them, you're the main person that they want or that they're focusing on, okay? Yeah, so they feel like it's hard to stay away from you. It's hard to not express how they feel. They could be giving you attention in some type of way, like stalking your social media, whatever, Captured by your love. Thorny Rose. Painful love experiences. Fight for love. Worth the troubles. It's like they feel like you guys have been through it, but they feel like you're worth it. Or they feel like this relationship is going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of work, but they feel like you're worth it. All right. So tell me about happiness. Options. What about options? Karmic connection. What does this mean for the collective? What does this mean for this person? Bad intentions. Oof, what? 
Why does this person feel like this person's been making you chase them or you have been chasing them? Hold on. Regret. This person regrets making you an option or like running like they if they could have been running from this or they were like kind of making you fight for their attention and their love. Like they were making you have to like you didn't have to chase them, but this person didn't make up their mind. They had a fear of making what was this choice about? This person is very guarded. They didn't want to accept this connection. They didn't want to, they were holding back from you. Why? Why were they holding back from you? I don't know. For some of you, what is date? Clarify dating. Single? What does that have to do with their connection with the depression? Why? Why were they depressed about dating and single? Why were they why why were they holding back because of that? Why were they holding back from the collective because of that? Okay. Love offer, but why didn't they extend this? Something is brewing. Like what? True love. What why is that making them hold back? Not budging on what? This is weird, guys. I don't know. Something from the past. This person can maybe be focusing on some type of other karmic connections. They were thinking you were another karmic connection. Something that they, like they've had some other bad love experiences. And they thought that they needed to protect themselves because of, they were like thinking that you were just going to be another one of those people that they had a bad love experience with. They felt like they needed to protect themselves. Now it's hard for them to make the decision to fully commit to something because of other things that they did commit themselves to. But I feel like, this is actually, there, there was something different about this connection. This was true love, but this person was being very stubborn. And I feel like they were, they felt like they couldn't trust you. They were afraid that maybe you had bad intentions. They needed to protect themselves from you, whatever, for whatever reason. Okay. So tell me how the collective is feeling about this person. You're holding back from this person. You're holding back from them. Why is that? Yeah, you guys, oof, you guys, you're thinking about them a lot. And you kind of are thinking worst case scenario about them. You, you think of this person a lot, but you're holding back from them. And it's like you're trying to let them go. Cutting your losses, letting them go. Like you're in separation, but you're still thinking about them a lot. But you're holding back. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Why are they holding back? Something that happened in the past. What about it? You're still thinking about what this person did. Healing. You guys may feel like you need to let go of the past so that you can have what it is that you desire. What's wrong with the relationship with this person? You feel like they don't love you. You feel like they want to keep it. Yeah. You feel like there's something better for you than this. Maybe this person also works a lot or something about their work. They're also like in a very low vibrational energy. They play the victim. They're very pessimistic. Um, they could be still grieving something from their past. You don't really see. There's a lot of conflict and fighting with this person. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that you guys feel like you can do better. All right, you do feel a strong soul connection to this person, but you guys feel like you need to let them go. You feel like you've had a lot of happiness with this person and a lot of not so great memories with this person as well. But I'm just seeing this energy of you guys feeling like you need to let them go because you feel like maybe this person can't give you what it is that you desire, what you're wishing for. They can't make you happy. You can't be happy with them. But it's something about this person. They won't go deeper with you. They won't open up to you emotionally. You feel like they're faking their love for you or they won't tell you that they love you. Yeah, look at this poker face. They hide their true feelings. They don't, they're not very expressive with their emotions. Um, you feel like they're like maybe wearing a mask or you you don't, they're two-faced or you can't trust them. Maybe some of you guys feel like they've betrayed you in some way, but they try to keep this relationship very surface level with you. And you're starting to real, feel like this isn't your person. You thought they were a soulmate. Or your twin, like you thought you had a soul connection with them, but now you're starting to think that maybe that was an illusion or that wasn't true. So you guys are trying to manifest better for yourself and you're trying to move forward with your life, practice self-love and self-care. Yeah, it's like you're thinking about your needs and you don't think this person can meet your needs, okay? So tell me more about what's going on here. Lessons, yeah, you've had some type of shift in perspective. You're raising your vibration and since this person is very low vibrational, you and this person are just not vibing anymore. You're not relating to them anymore. Um... It doesn't feel right to associate with them anymore because your vibes are just on two different frequencies. But you've learned some type of lesson and had some type of shift in perspective. Oh, maybe this person's about to have a shift in perspective. You're going to be receiving communication, a phone call. What is this phone call going to be about? 
because this person doesn't feel like things are over between the two of you. They feel like you've just completely ghosted their ass, okay? They feel like you have, um, there was an abrupt ending between the two of you. They don't feel like things are over. They don't have any closure. Um, you just have ceased all communication with them. So tell me more about what this phone call is going to be about. They're watching you. Yeah, they've been keeping tabs on you. What about children? Love bomber. What is this about? What about children? Well, not children. I'm going to take that card out of my deck. I'm sick of the children card because I'm just like, what? What about children? Toxic? What about, why is children toxic? Bad intentions. What does this have to do with the collective? See, what does it have to do with them? Home and out in the cold. They feel rejected and left out in the cold with you. This person's heart space is opening. They're starting to come to terms and accept their feelings for you. They're growing stronger. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I feel like this person's still very emotionally immature. They may... Dude, this could be for some of you, somebody you have children with. That could be why that card's coming out. Or they're just very emotionally immature. Or they may try to, like, use... The, their children or something to do with children to try to manipulate here but with this i don't like this love bomber energy they they still want you to chase them I, what about clarify chaser spotlight talk about chaser pregnancy uh-oh what is that about be careful with this person guys they may try to for those of you that can have kids they may try to do something what about pregnancy fights what does that do with them all around them work okay going in circles i don't know guys i see them still toxic i feel like they feel rejected they're, they're gonna get rejected it's like with the home and out in the cold <laughs> like someone's getting left out in the cold they thought that they could come home to you but you're not letting them in this time you're not opening you're not answering the damn door okay you're not taking them in this time you're like dealing with a runaway. You're dealing with a runner. Okay. They're still toxic. You need to protect yourself or there's red flags. They're coming in with emotional manipulation. They want your attention or they're coming in to love bomb you. They're going to come in laying a lot on you. All right. They may even try to fight with you or this is them trying to fight for you. But what is that? I don't know. They may feel like you are starting something new with somebody else. But I'm telling you, this person views you as like their home. This is somebody that thought that they could always come back to you and that you would, they could come and knock on your door and that you would let them in. But this time they're getting left out in the cold. You're not letting them in this time. They can't just come back and, you know, crash at your house or stay or just come home. Like, or they feel like you are their home and they're missing you. They're feeling homesick. They're, they've been doing, what they've been focusing on is work, but they still feel you. They maybe have been trying to use work as a distraction, but it says, can't escape connection, telepathic experiences, your love haunts them. Hmm. Love and grow. Yeah, someone's feelings are growing. It takes this person longer to come to terms with their feelings than it may have taken you. All right, um, tell me more about what's, what is this person's intentions? Give me more clarity about this. See, unvalued, that, that's concerning. This person does not have the intention to have an equal give and take with you. I feel like it's because they don't even have the ability to give you an equal give and take. This person's taking you for granted still. Yeah, mutual feelings. They do have feelings for you. Okay, wait, we have, un, we have unequal give and take and now we have equal give and take. So which one is it? old school okay are they taking things seriously now tell me more player why is that there though what about player yeah hot and cold see what is that about it's like there's this weird energy like as some they may do it for a while things may be good between you and this person for a while but i don't i see there being a lack of consistency or them sending mixed signals like there, this is two conflicting energies, a lot of conflicting energies. What is causing this? We have unvalued, we have unequal give and take, equal give and take. We have taking it seriously, taking things slow, and then inconsistency. We have hot and cold, and then, or no, we have taking it seriously, and then we have player, refusing to commit, 
What is up? What is causing this inconsistency in this person? Passion? Oh, what about it? Mixed feelings? What are they not? Uh, why are they not fully? What's the problem? What's the blockage here? They need to work on themselves. They just, they, what they do? What's the surprising event? Yeah, break and what? Wedding, this is wedding. Risk. Engagement. What's leading to that? A sacrifice. Must give up something. Why? Going in circles. Playing games. What's this mean for the collective? All around them. I don't know. I feel like you're, how, what's forcing this person to make these changes? It's the fact that you guys are, what's forcing them? Financial issues? What's going on? What is forcing this person to make these changes? Yeah, clean up, but what's leading to that? They're, they feel like they're running out of time. Why? They can't, they can't string you along anymore. That's what it is. They feel like, you, yeah, it's like, they feel like they can't string you along anymore. They do know that they have true love for you, but they don't want to lose you. But what's the problem? Tell me more about what the problem is here. Yeah, karmic connection. They have past, things from the past they still need to resolve. It's an unsustainable relationship. Why? Why? Why is... See, they don't want anybody... They come in... Yeah, somebody is maybe going through a divorce or they're going through something else. They have to close out another cycle before that's causing them a lot of instability before they can have a new beginning with you and fully commit to you i the thing is guys is that i don't think this person's intentions are terrible i think that they do love you i do think that when they tell you these things they mean it but then they have all this other shit going on and then they can't keep their promise to you because you know they have all this other interference but it's like they don't want to lose you they want to preserve this connection but they know that they're in a bad situation right now and they don't know. It's like they feel like they're, what is that, a rock and a hard place, you know? Yeah, this could definitely be somebody that's going through a divorce or some type of financial issues right now. Financial issues, but their feelings, they can't deny their feelings for you. Um, they're growing, they're increasing, but you guys are setting boundaries because you guys are aware that this is an unsustainable relationship. Like, you know this can't work out between you and this person. Are they at least even, um, so they, what they come in is try to keep you, they're trying to keep you where they want to keep you until they get another situation sorted out. I do think that they have love for you. They think you guys can be a power couple. They think you guys can build together. All right. But, um, they know that right now they are not in a place to give that to you, but they also feel like they're running out of time. They feel like it's only a matter of time before you end up in a relationship with somebody else and you're starting a, a relationship with somebody new. You know, you have a new beginning elsewhere. So expect this person to come in and um, you're going to have to decide like for those of you that maybe decide, I don't know guys, I just feel like it's going to end to conflict between you and this person if you were to go back into this with them because they're not going to be as consistent as you want them to be. Yeah, they're not going to be as consistent as you want them to be and it's going to lead to conflict between the two of you. It's all up to what you want. Yeah, the hanged man. What about the hanged man? The Queen of Wands in reverse. The Two of Wands. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, goodness. Somebody's coming back because of jealousy. Yeah, they're jealous. Can we deal with a fire sign in Aries Leo or a Sag? Pisces. Yeah, didn't I say conflict? Five of Wands. Somebody's not happy that you're moving on. They feel like there's competition for you. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Yeah, you may you may be getting a communication, but you guys may not talk to this person. You're not tolerating because you ooh, you guys are coming into your power. You're coming into your power, and you're not standing for this. You, you're you can see when maybe before this person it was easier for them to manipulate you because you you get it now you just caught onto this person's games. You see right through them. Yeah, before you you couldn't see this clearly when they were manipulating you, but you've been through some rounds with this person which you couldn't see before now you can see you know what i mean and um yeah they, they can't do this anymore you're not going and you're because i just what i'm saying this is going to be a repeat cycle you and this person are going to if you go back into this with them i see another indie i see them coming back but they're coming back out of jealousy they've been doing a lot of thinking they weren't taking any action tell me about the hanged man 
the three of pentacles the justice in reverse yeah there's like gonna be what does this mean for this person yeah what does this mean for the collective the devil in reverse. yeah you feel like this is toxic you're trying to leave this toxic situation detach free yourself from this take your power back and recover this person what about the ten of wands reverse they haven't closed out some type of type of cycle yet i feel like they just feel like you're releasing them they feel you letting them go and they don't want that to happen they want to maintain that control over you that you're taking back you're taking your power back they feel it they want to maintain some type of control or power over you but so they're going to try to collaborate with you but with the justice in reverse they're having legal issues or they're not being honest with you about some things or like i said there's going to still be an imbalance there's going to there's going to be an unequal give and take like you giving more than they can give something like that what is this person's but there's returning they're definitely what's, up? what's the two of wands they hear it in reverse i feel like this person still is trying to make up their mind about whether or not they want to fully commit to this three of wands in reverse yeah they still mm. this person's gonna have to lead their what stop like they're they're start no i can't even talk this is about comfort zone What's causing, what's, what's this delay? The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person not having anything to offer. This person's also very emotionally unstable or what about this person anymore? They do have love for you, but they don't know how to express it. Yeah, they don't know how to express it. They don't feel good enough for you or they're dealing with low self-esteem. They, they don't maybe even love themselves. That's a problem. They're going through inner turmoil. They doubt themselves. They don't feel like they're their best self. They're going through financial issues. They're trying to over um, recover from that. But yeah, they do feel this deep connection with you. But it's like this person's not in a stable place to be able to offer you anything stable. Yeah, you're going to be give you would be giving way too much to this connection and they wouldn't be able to give the same amount to you. So that's why there needs to be boundaries, because when you're giving and giving to somebody and they're not giving anything back, that's, you know, using you to a degree and that's draining. You know what I mean? That's that's not fair. You deserve more. I feel like this is you guys. Serious hand saying that this person's coming back. And you're going to have that decision about should I stay or should I go? That's what, or what, what, what path do I choose? Do I try to stick it out with this person and deal with their bullshit? Or do I just let them go? Let them sort out their shit. And then if they get it together and I want them when they come back, cool. But if not, I'll meet somebody new. Like you guys, are, I see them coming back. But... You're going to have to make a choice about whether or not you're going to want to stay with them or let them back in or if you're going to walk away from this. What is their true intentions? See, there, I feel like there's an imbalance here. What are their intentions? Like, how do they feel about the collective? How do they feel about them? They're afraid. You kind of scare them. They're kind of lacking direction. They're holding back a lot of how they feel about you. They're afraid. They see something long-term and stable with you feelings this person's not very much in their heart space they feel like you guys can be very successful together they feel like you can build an empire together how do they feel i mean we do have the king of cups here they do love you but it's almost like see superficiality what is that well what's up with this person's emotions what's up with this person's emotions i just feel like they are um very pessimistic and they're not happy you know they're feeling unfulfilled what is this? How do they feel about the collective? Ten of Swords. Why the Ten of Swords? The Seven of Pentacles. It's almost like they don't like that things are over between the two of you. But I don't really see that they're doing anything. Yeah, they're not doing anything. They know that they know also that if they don't start putting in more more work that you're going to be done or that you're tired you're tired of them they 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 feel they know that they hurt you they feel like losing you would be a really big loss do you work hard how do they feel about the collective what about the wheel of fortune they want to change they feel like you've changed what about the two of cups the king of pentacles they know that you're not playing with them okay they know that you're only something and they view you as somebody has that has changed they feel like all these like endings and 
the shit that's happened between the two of you has changed you. They know that you're not playing anymore. Okay. Um, they, they're, they view you as somebody that's very clear and very direct and assertive and sometimes even like a little bitchy. You know what I mean? Like you, you tell this person how it is. You, they view you as very independent and they know that they're not, you're not going to settle for anything less than the King of Pentacles. Someone that is like-minded, that's, you know, more your level, um, a leader, prosperous, abundant, reliable, someone that you can depend on. That can be your match, be your equal. Like someone that's mature and that has their shit together. So I feel like this person knows that they're going to have to change. There's going to have to be changes. And it's getting to that point where things are not going to continue the way that they have. You maybe have been repeating a cycle with this person. But it's like, it's at that point now where this cycle isn't going to repeat. And it's because of you. Someone, it's you have to have has changed. Your, your values and what you, like you've reevaluated your needs. And it's because of how many endings you've been through with this person. This hurts. Whatever they did to you or that has happened. I feel like you've had to like maybe rebuild. You've had to remove every single one of these 10 swords out of your back every time something has happened with this person. Okay. And that's just something that, and you feel like it was for nothing. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of reward, impatience, setbacks. Like you feel like this person sets you back. Every time you go through this cycle with them and then it's this ending and then it sets you back. Lack of growth, waste. Like you feel like you wasted your time and you just ended up with pain. You know what I mean? So this is what I have for you guys. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading because I really do want to dive deeper into this person's feelings and emotions with, for you because I'm not really seeing it. They're very closed off um, and we do have lack of emotion here. Like they're not expressing this to you. I do feel like they're hiding them. Okay. Um, I don't know why, maybe because of fear of getting hurt or they're not good with their emotions. But anyways.